Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good afternoon, Douglas. Um, I'm conscious that I stand up in front of you all here that I'm proposing the uh, last motion of today. So I want to do a uh, propose this motion as strongly as I can, but also as quickly as I can. Um, and in so doing, it is the last uh, item on our agenda today. But many of the issues that are covered off in this motion are the first thing on the agenda for many families within our country. They describe issues which are causing them huge stress and the policy contributions that we have to make to resolving these issues are going to form one of the many uh, contributions to a general election campaign that should see us regain government. The motion reads that the Gaelic government will extend maternity leave and introduce a period of paternity leave to benefit parents and newborn children and that our party will also provide greater financial support to parents, to parents currently faced with huge bills as a result of the cost of children. One of the most important things about our party is that we strongly recognise the role that families have to play in society. We know that they are one of the most fundamental building blocks of the society that we live in. But the pressure in these families has never been greater. We can see the cost of living. We know the impact that this has on many families that are struggling to make ends meet. We know the impact that poor transport and poor planning has on our communities. When so many families find it hard to have the quality of life they want because they have to spend so much time commuting. And finally, the huge difficulty of finding childcare, where many families, where both parents are working, have to work very hard to find childcare and then have to work equally hard to make sure they're happy with the childcare that they can get. I've recently become a parent myself, but you don't need to be a parent to know just how important these families are to our country. But at a time when we've never needed them so much, the things we ask them to do have never been so great. We ask them to bring up our young, we ask them to look after them as well as they can, but we also ask, ask them to look after our elderly, to give them the support and care that they need that they frequently do not receive of this government. Many of our female policies recognise what needs to be done, and the fact that our policies recognise this is, I believe, one of the main reasons why we will be returning to government in the next election. But what we also recognise is that it's not enough just to give families the ability to help themselves. They directly need help from the state and from our party. And many of the policies that have been developed by David Sponsor recognise that and contain these things. We recognise the need for increased maternity leave for families and also the need for the introduction of paternity leave. We recognise policies to introduce direct payments to families for, the, for the, each child they have up until school starts. And finally, we've talked about and recommended the need for tax relief for people who provide childcare and also talk about the things that can be done to increase the number of childcare places within our country. And when we get into government, these are the things that we're going to do that will make a real difference to the families that we represent. If we recommend that, excuse me, if we understand that happy, that safe, that healthy families are the foundations upon which we build everything else, then we have to use every tool at our disposal to look after them. Nothing else is acceptable though. And it's our time to do this. The again in government will rise to these challenges and will show these families that politics and public services can help them, can make their lives easier and can allow them to do a better job by their children. And not, as is currently the case, under this government, continually stand in the way. So I commend this motion to you. Thank you.